Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Pete, or the help you need. You can call me either or. Um, and today what we're going to be doing is be creating a tree. So let's go ahead and start. Um, basically, if you know the shape of a tree, it's basically all cylinders that kind of flow together uh, to make branches and stuff. I'm actually looking at one outside my window right now. Um, but you guys can't see that. But Anyway, so we're going to start with just making the basic tree, and we'll make three, two branches, and uh, I'm not going to go over making leaves or anything, but you should be able to, um, from the branches, be able to understand a little bit how to create your own tree, and then you should be able to branch off, no pun intended, branch off of what I said. Um, so we're going to start with making a cylinder. I already have the height segments and sides and caps and everything all set up. Um, you want a thousand caps. No, I'm just kidding. You just want one cap segment, three height segments, and ten sides. Um, you're going to go ahead and convert this to your editable poly. So convert to editable poly. And the first thing we need to do is make a base. So you have to grab this part, which will be your, roughly your tree trunk. And then you're going to grab this part and you're going to pull it down to the Y. And this will give you a pretty uh, solid base for your tree. Um, now, our tree just looks like a stump right now, so we need to pull these up a little bit taller, which means we can probably keep that one down. All right, so something like that. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to create the branches. Um, so the easiest way I can think of to do that is to start out with an extrusion right here. Um, go ahead and move it either left or right, doesn't really matter. And then you're just going to do a couple more extrusions here. So we'll do apply and apply. All right, so we'll have three segments here that we can use as branches. Uh, just that way we don't uh, select anything else. We're gonna grab the top branch first, or the top part of the branch, and we're going to collapse the geometry here. So just select collapse underneath your added geometry. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and click two, and we're just gonna select loops. That'd be the easiest way to do this. And we're gonna pull these, and we're gonna rotate. Now this one is going to be more rotated uh, up, but it's still going to have to be rotated to the side, and then this one right here is going to be rotated to the side almost completely, and then the one right underneath it is also going to be rotated to the side. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab verts, so we're going to move those around um, in order to get hopefully a pretty, um, at least decent to convincing tree branch, which we're going to pull like this, All right, and then you have uh, basically your start of your branch right here. Now it's a little bit thicker at the bottom, most tree branches are, um, but since this is not most tree branches, we're going to grab all these verts inside here, and we're going to scale it like this. We want it to be long, but not like thick. So like this, and then we'll pull this part up. Okay, move it over. And this will be your basic tree branch right here. Um, so you should have this to start with. All right, now we want to select uh, all of this part of the tree branch up to the first extrusion. And then you want to pull it out. Clone to element. If that's not selected, there you create a new object. So make sure it does clone to element. Uh, go to your element tab here. We're going to use angle snap and we're going to rotate this 180 degrees roughly. A little bit less uh, or more because we want the branches to be facing different ways. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to put this kind of inside like that. And that should give you um, basically the same thing you have right there. And that's just to match things up so that way we know that it's uh, pretty good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull this up, up there, and we're going to be uh, connecting things and capping things. And this is going to be uh, probably the most fun part. We're going to basically just be working at the perspective viewport for now. So go ahead and select border. I've selected this border right here, and come down to the bottom where it says cap. Go ahead and cap it. Now we're going to select one vertex. All right, and we're going to get all of its diagonals, which if you pass geometry, I don't know, what, what geometry did we take, sophomore year or something, 
uh, you should be able to know where the vertic where they are. All right, now if you try to connect them all at the same time, you get something like that. So instead, we're going to choose one after the other, and then once we have the first one selected, we want the diameter first. Once you have that selected, then you can start connecting all of these. And you're not going to get anything weird, as you can see. Uh, well, I guess we do get an inscribed triangle. So um, we do this. See, same thing. So we'll just connect it like this. But once it's connected, I'm pretty sure we can just keep connecting over. So it should give you a bunch of triangles here. Okay. Um, now there are triangles. There's as many triangles as there are polygons around this. So what we have to do is we want to uh, connect these up so that way They'll kind of turn into a box, but we're going to connect them so that way they don't really do anything. So we're going to go connect everything either to the diameter or to the uh, like other radiuses, I guess. Basically, you want to be stuck with only two polygons uh, left in this part here. So right now, I have too much selected here. Uh, I want to target weld, and we'll weld this up. So we're going to weld that up, and I forgot to weld this up. Then we weld here. This will give you two polygons from out of four sides or something. But you should be left with something like this. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to click four. We're going to select those two polygons right there. And then we're going to select these two. We're just going to bridge them up. And you'll have something like that. Alright, now sometimes you get some weird stuff that happens when you do something like this. Uh, we're going to turn on our mesh smooth and we're going to check this out. Okay, in this case, it actually doesn't look bad. It actually looks okay. And it actually does look like a tree trunk. But sometimes you'll be left with like a weird looking indent in the middle. Uh, that's because you didn't select both polygons, um, well, all four polygons at the same time. You selected only two, um, and then bridged, and then bridged again. So, all right, now we're just going to move these around and get it looking a little bit different than the branch across, because no two branches are really the same on a tree, I don't think. So, I mean, they may look the same all around, but they're not. So, we'll move this one like that, pull this down, rotate this one, ah. okay, pull it down, move it over, and select this one. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to hold R, or well, select R, and we're going to scale this. Alright, and we want to grab this and just move it um, in right here. So just take it on the Y, and just something like this. Keep moving it over, and voila. So that should be your basic tree. So you should have a tree shape. And basically, that's going to be your tree. Now you can apply that um, around for even more branches and uh, more places of the tree off here. Um, now, maybe I'm thinking a later tutorial. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to put on a uh, um, what's it called, a uh, alpha map and stuff, and get the uh, leaves in there. But for now, this is going to have to do for you guys. Sorry. Alright, um, really quick, if you guys would like to uh, go ahead and click the link that's showing up on your screen right now, and that link is um, just to challenge me, which I just put a challenge uh, thing up there, and basically I'm going to do that weekly, and you can challenge me to model whatever you want, 
um, as well as um, you can challenge me one versus one to model anything. Alright, so this should be your basic tree. I hope you guys had fun of this tutorial. Um, if you guys want more tutorials, uh, obviously post a comment. Go ahead and go over to that challenge video, post a comment there. And uh, alright, I'll see you guys later.